Okay, three, two, one, sink. Good morning, this is Gary again uh, on the testing waters of the California Center for Research in Advanced Paddling. Going to do some more crap research here. And what I'm going to do now is something that was suggested by one of our Sersky Kayak members, Tommy Yoni, and uh, he was saying that you can do lots of different kinds of strokes with the wing blade and it's not going to make much difference at some maximal effort. So we're going to test that out. So what I'm going to be doing here is doing three different kinds of strokes. So what I'm doing right now is very easy, but this is about as close as I can get to my impersonation or simulation of the classic wing paddle stroke. The idea is to rotate as far forward as you can and get that blade in there square. As it goes in, you put pressure on the same side. Foot brace, and then it goes out and back. The arms, top arm, roughly 90 degrees at the elbow and it stays there. The bottom arm is basically extended but not rigidly straight and that stays there. Top arm does not punch, bottom arm does not pull during the drive, right? It all comes from the legs working through the core and the upper body muscles. And I am going to keep a high angle. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my wrist at about eye level right across. I don't want to be doing the diagonal that I see a lot of paddlers, even elite paddlers do. I, and I, I'm, that indicates it. it's pretty good, but I think uh, there are some, if there's any advantages, it would be to go straight across. And the idea here is that you get some initial at the catch, pushing down, and you get some drag force out of that, bringing you forward. Uh, here's the foil leading edge. As that comes out, all right, you're going to get water going faster across the top, and that will pull you forward. That's the wing effect. That's why they call it a wing. And you don't want to go past your hips, because back there, the thinking is at the negative angle, and that's going to screw up your balance and your uh, it's going to weaken the propulsion. So that's what I'm going to be trying. And it's going to look something like this. Okay. Now the other thing I'm going to do is when I actually do it, I'll change the blade a little bit and I'll make it as longer. That's a 210 length. I'm going to go 215. This is an epic uh, small mid wing. Second one I'm going to do is what I'm calling the horizontal triplane stroke. So that's very different. I want to still rotate as far as I can, but instead of downward, I want to sort of drop it in. Drop it in like into the toaster, right? Sort of like a rowing blade. It would just drop right in at the catch. And then all of the four should be horizontal. And it's triplane because the blade is at a plane below the surface of the water. My bottom hand is the same plane above it. And then the top hand is also uh, a third plane parallel to those two. And that's going in the opposite direction. So what I'm going to be trying to do on the triplane horizontal is as long as I can go. And I will even do some top arm extension and bottom arm flexion to put some arms into the latter part of the stroke. So that's the horizontal triplane stroke. And then I'm going to shorten up the blade, I think, to 205 and do the vertical triplane stroke. And in that one, I do get that downward force at the beginning, clearly, even more so than the wing. But then straight back as much as I can, but making it long too right through the end okay so that does not use any uh, lift or wing effect as far as I can tell unless there's a little bit here at the front either intentional or unintentional 
but it's very small compared to the to the designed foil leading edge right so that that shouldn't have much lift if at all and the horizontal as well shouldn't right because I'm not using much that top edge all right is not doing what I want it to do it, it should if it does anything it should want to uh, pull the blade out of the water and so I'm gonna have to put some weight to keep it in okay so that's that's what we're gonna do and I'm going to paddle at about 120 beats per minute and uh, that's like the upper range of my Maffetone aerobic function or MAF that's like 180 minus your age and with some other adjustments so I think I'm using 190 minus my age but uh, I'm going to try to keep my my heart rate there and I do have the Garmin I can see that and my speed and at the very end once I'm cruising I got about a thousand meters here I'm going to use um, that's part of the uh, rowing course here for UCLA uh, I'm gonna at the end uh, bring it up to my distance race pace for 10 double strokes and then go all out keeping the same style of stroke for five double and see what maximum speed I might get so that's what this is all about looking at three different strokes with the wing blade and uh, see how adaptable it may be flexible in being able to use different kinds of strokes I don't know if I mentioned on a horizontal triplane I'm gonna make them as long as I can uh, and I'm gonna to try to keep the, the top arm at the beginning maybe a little tighter than 90 degrees to get more of an angle and then I will do what's called punching out at least a bit toward the end of the stroke to keep pressure on the blade right to the very end and also I'm gonna do each stroke uh, twice both upstream and downstream to equal out any effect of the current here and the wind very slight onshore breeze I feel now paddling toward the ocean uh, and the, the tide is just a bit past low it's lowest so it should be pretty slack in terms of any current here in the creek so, so I'll have 2,000 meter trials for, for each.